Hey, uh, hello everyone, welcome to another video. So today we're going to be doing a video. And also, I'm very mad at myself because I was not recording the whole time. I should start. I was running through the rain trying to get home oh, as quickly yeah, as possible. Okay, I should know what side of the was. Also, what thumbnail is that? That's just a weird thumbnail. Right. Here we are. We are here to entertain you. Hi there. My name is Michelle. And Hi, my name is Silvers. Yeah. Today, for My Story Animated, I'm going to tell you the horrifying story of how I was stuck in my crush's locker for one year. Fear and loneliness can sometimes make you do things you never thought you could. I was heartbroken and lost, and you won't believe how far I went. A lot of things happened back then, so tune in, subscribe to this channel, and for a couple of months, and yeah, I was too much of a chicken. So sometimes you have to do what you're gonna do. <laughs> I just pause that right one second. And to ask him to the prom, and since he wasn't asking me, well, I decided to ask him with a letter. I put the letter inside his locker, and suddenly, I heard him and his friends approaching. I didn't know where to go, so I hid inside his locker. Then, as I wished he didn't open the locker, I heard them talking about playing me a practical joke on the next day. I mean, what? He was telling his friends that he was going to ask me to the prom, only to stand me up and then go to the prom with his real girlfriend. I was shocked! His real girlfriend? Why would he flirt with me all, his real girlfriend? all this time if he had a girlfriend? As I heard him coming closer to the locker, I panicked. Just don't ask me why I bothered doing these when it's just all about like a boyfriend and girlfriend breaking up, that stuff, like thinking they love them, blah, blah, blah. I just don't ask me. I just... I need entertainment around you, you know? I stepped back, and when I leaned against the back wall, it opened, and I fell inside a hidden room. The door closed back just before he opened his locker. I was safe, but I realized I'd left my letter there. I heard them as he read the letter out loud with his friends, laughing and mocking me. I was so heartbroken. After they left, I... Oh, I feel a bit sorry for it now. I realized that the hidden room had no doors, but the vent duct that connected the air conditioning between rooms in the whole school was the only way out. I got in and crawled for a while until I found the next room. It was the girls' bathroom. I saw that my best friend Alicia was there. I climbed down on one of the toilets. I was still crying. I wanted nothing else but hug her and cry on her shoulder. Oh, it's like she's like, like exactly the same as like your skin, like not being racist, but like you got your skin mitten. You know, I, I, I just don't know. I was about to open the door when I heard her talking with another girl about the practical joke my crush was going to play on me. I froze. Immediately. <laughs> I froze. Yeah, what did you do? Just wondering what you were watching. I was watching. I was talking about crush looking for one you. Oh my god. Yeah, look, yeah, look at that face. Such a good face. Please. I found out not only that she was thrilled with the idea, but also that she was his mysterious girlfriend. She said, Michelle is such a loser. She has no idea what's waiting for her. Shocked with surprise, oh, does she? I took a deep breath and they heard me. I stepped back to the corner instinctively, like that would help. I stood still. I yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but my brother teachers held up like this thing with him. I don't know. What they heard that someone was in one of the bathrooms. They started to whisper. One of the girls started to open the door, and suddenly the bell rang. They left, and I sighed. I climbed back inside the vent duct. My heart was crushed again. I had crushed. Yes. Yeah, Can you hear? It? Uh, yeah, just uh, just uh, yeah, yeah, yeah bear with me for a second. Yeah. I so trouble breathing. I went back to the room and continued crying until I fell asleep. When I woke up, everything was silent and dark. It was night. I was so hungry. I went through the vent system to the cafeteria. I found all sorts of things there. It felt kind of cool to have the entire school for myself, or so I thought, because I suddenly heard the night guard entering the cafeteria. He pointed around with his flashlight and I hid under the table. He walked towards me and as he saw the food on the table, sat down and started eating it. I was inches away from his legs and holding my breath. Then he left and I went. When you play the National Lottery, 30 million pounds a week goes to good causes, like looking after the nation's beloved museums. When we all play a little, fun stuff happens. Back to the vent system. I continued to crawl and suddenly I realized I was over the file room. The file room was the office where everyone's files were. 
not only students, but staff also. All of us wished we could enter there at least once. But of course, it was strictly forbidden. Now, I, of course, I don't know. had the chance to access all of their files. I went down and opened Gerard's first. This girl is very naughty. It said his parents were divorced. And his father had a restraining order because he'd been violent with him and his brothers for years. Oh. My. God. Gerard never talked about his personal life, and now I knew why. He must have suffered a lot. I too had my share of problems at- Well, I wish it happened to me, like, just some person in the school saw this about my life. Um, oh, my cool. dad left when I- I mean, like, some people know about my social life. I was two years old, and my mom never fully recovered. Really? She was now chronically depressed and going- Okay, well that's enough. Yeah, like, subscribe. Also, look at this. Anyway, yeah, 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 just, yeah, yeah, peace. Peace.